and indeed we're simply the best we're a star 103.5 FM and a very good evening to one and all most welcome to your number one personality show it's on every Thursday evening right here on star 103.5 FM you know the difference between a successful person and others is not lack of strength not a lack of knowledge but rather lack in will Vincent Lombardi said this many years ago and our guest tonight has a ferocious willpower of a man on a mission dares to do the unconventional and the unyielding determination to always succeed if you ask me he's one man who's moved from screen to mad to production to leadership he had his basic education at Christ the King School right here in Accra and then attended Achimoto School where the drama club enveloped him as he saw real potential. He's also won the flyest guy on campus. That's the, you know, in Motown, Achimoto School. Now you talk of the eye candy man. We've got a lot to talk about tonight. He traced his father's career path and studied civil engineering at Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. The eye candy moves were evident there as well, as he contested and won Mr. University at KNUSD. Later, he enrolled at Gimpap School of Public Service and Governance. And also, you know, at a point, age seven, he starred in the movie Baby Thief. That was 1992. He was seven years while attending Christ the King School and was paid 20,000 old Ghana cities. Currently, I think it's what, like two cities. Well, aside being an actor of international recognition, our guest is an entrepreneur. He launched his clothing line, J Mello. We'll ask about that clothing line tonight on the show. In 2012, I quite remember that. And also, he's known to be involved in both crop and animal farming. During the National Democratic Congress, NDC Party's campaign in 2016, he was one of the most influential and outstanding celebrities who was seen campaigning for the NDC government. On 19th of July, 2019, he picked up a nomination form to contest in the NDC primaries as a parliamentary candidate for the Yawasu West Wagon constituency. Come 24th, August, 2019, he won the NDC parliamentary primaries to represent the NDC in a Yawasu West Wagon constituency in the 2020 general elections. Launched his campaign manifesto for the 2020 election on Sunday, 18th, October 2020, and he promised to commit half of his salary to youth development in the constituency. Did he do that? Well, we'll ask him. On 7 2020, that's 7 December, our guest lost the parliamentary elections to the new Patriotic Party incumbent Lydia Al Hassan. He laced his boots once more, and well, he says, I'm giving it a go in 2024 to snatch the seat from Madame Lydia Alassan and turn the blue seat green. Well, can he would unpack it all tonight? Let's welcome John Seto Dumelo, award-winning star chart. We welcome you, sir. How are you doing? <laughs> John Dumelo, welcome. Yeah, thank you. A day for you. Uh, a day for you. And that's the slogan. That's the you slogan. tell us more about, uh, about that slogan. But you're on Star Chat, <clears throat> which is live right here in Accra. And also in Kumasi on Ultimate yeah. FM. Yeah. In yeah. Tech Radio on Empire, Empire, Empire FM. And around the world on starfm.com.gh. It's also probably brought to us by MTN. Everywhere you go. Haptel is everything you. And Core Plus Mixture for your general well-being. GCB Bank. Your bank for life and my name is Bolare right here in the sea what a lovely evening 15 minutes after seven thank you for joining us here John Dumelo I, I know it's been a, a busy day for you how's your trip to the University of Ghana like with the Muslim brothers and sisters for Iftar right yeah for Iftar well good evening to your listeners and viewers I mean it, it was great um, <clears throat> I just left there interacting with the students um, for the last two weeks we've been moving from mosque to mosque mm breaking the fast with most of the 
Muslim brothers and sisters, um, something which we, we've never done before. And so this, this year we said we we're going to move from mosque to mosque, and that's what we're doing. You, you, you seem to be spending a lot of time at the university. Yeah. Is, is that your biggest constituent base? Yes, that's our biggest mm. constituency, or that's our biggest electoral area in terms of numbers. Okay. You know, so we have 13 different electoral areas in Iowa, so. And uh, Legon is the biggest, and most, most of the most, most often than not, Legon is the one that decides who becomes the next. Oh, Legon, Legon decides. Yeah, pretty much mm. because it's the largest. You okay, know, you have over twenty thousand voters then, so that's where we are. That's why I'm concentrating most of my efforts, and as well as the other areas as well. Have Have you actually learned lessons, real lessons from your defeat? From my twenty twenty defeat. Twenty twenty yes, yes, defeat. I have. Mm. I have so many lessons. Lessons I mean, like what? Give us three. Well, I, I think. Um, you know, the last time I was telling somebody, this time we are not working hard, but we are working smart. You know, we, we need to work smart and we need to be able to look at the strength and weaknesses of our opponents and use that, you know, for ourselves. You know, so I think we've learned so many um, lessons. We've dotted our I's and crossed our T's and we know why we lost and we know how we can win. In 2024. Three reasons why you lost in 2020, John Dubello. Three reasons why I yes. lost? Well, well uh, I think the first one was um, we, we didn't take the door-to-door. -door. We, we did door-to-door, -door, but we, we didn't go everywhere. You know, that, that, that's the first one. Uh, the second one was the students were not on campus. The students were not on campus, or, I mean, in 2020. And so that's how come we lost. And the third one was, you know, we had... Um, a few mishaps during the election time which you know of course i cannot i cannot say now but uh, mm. those are the lessons one of the lessons we've lost or those are the three lessons interesting the reasons why because the last time you pulled thirty-seven thousand votes yeah. and, and the vote margin was was 2500 yeah. yeah. how, how many votes are you targeting this year we just want to win uh, but we want to win by a larger margin this time around. Will it be a last light for you? Yeah, it, it would. It would be a last yeah, light for John Dumelo. It would. Really? Then you've done uh, so much work on the ground. Yes. I mean, we that you were unseated or incumbent? <laughs> Definitely. I mean, no doubt about that. We are going to unseat her. And, and, you know, the signals we are picking from the ground is, yes, people are tired of her. People. And, and, and if you look at the way she's campaigning now, she's, she's desperate for power. She's desperate because she knows she's lost it. No, but she's doing her job. I, I remember the, like, the during the Easter celebrations, she did a, a picnic or a soiree for, for did, the students. Did and, she do that in 2021? Did she oh, so is, in she, is she feeling the pressure? Yeah, yeah, she didn't. I mean, Easter time, you know, you, you bring a horse onto campus and you let the students ride and you think that's the way to win an election. That's not the way to win an election. Many will say agroniform. She beat you in 2020, 2,500 yes. votes. Yes. And you were saying that you're actually going to overturn that and, and it will be a last light. She reduced her votes or the MPP's votes from 2016. 2016, the difference between NDC and MPP was 10,000. She reduced it to 2,500. So, so you closed the gap. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think it was a landslide victory for her. She, 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 she didn't do well. She messed up in, in 2020. And that's why in 2024, she thinks she's going to win. But, you know, the odds are against her. What are they telling you on ground, John Dumelo? From, 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 from <coughs> the protest <coughs> lodge, you get into the main halls and everywhere, Bush Canteen. Ayahuasca West Ugon is huge. Yeah. Baby. What are the people telling you? They are honestly telling me in 2020, some are telling me, look, John, in 2020, I voted against you. But in 2024, I'm going to vote for you. Really? Despite whatever the woman is sharing, John, I am going to vote for you. That is what they say. This is these are genuine people speaking. It is not me being, you know, forcing them or me giving them, you know, some sort of inducement. These are genuine voters speaking, and they are telling me that, John, we are going to vote for you in 2024. But what you have to do is you have to protect the ballot box. That is what we want. Protect our votes, and you definitely win the election in 2024. That's what they are telling me. How diverse is, is your voter base? I mean, you know, looking at the electoral area, ethnic, economic yeah. status yeah. lines. Look, ethnic, you have Akans, you have Ewes, you have Gandambes, you have Guans, you have Northness. Um, economic wise, you know, I think in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, <clears throat> the economic activity was Accra Central, you know, Accra Central, Tudu. Adabraka, you know, that's where most people had offices and stuff. But now you can see it's shifted 
to East Legon, it shifted to Jowlu. Even Jowlu still is, is an old business hub, but it's still surviving. But now everything is shif shifting to East Legon. And you can see that East Legon is now the go-to place in terms of restaurants, in terms of nightlife, in terms of you know corporate offices, because that is the hub. And so that is the economic hub, if I dare say, of Accra. And we are trying to maintain that for the next you know 20 or 30 years and so we are we are you know we put we put down certain measures to make sure that we attract a lot of investments and mind you the more companies that come to set up offices in iowa so the more shops that come to set up or um, you know open up that's that's more employment for 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 my people and it's like on is is regarded as a mixed hub you if you if you want i mean you have like you said business are are, are, are there residential you know areas or pockets of yeah. you know yeah. homes and all of that yeah. houses yeah. So it, it, it's quite a unique you know, constituent, yeah, yeah. constituency. But it's always been NPP. I mean, <laughs> you know, so, so if the seat has always been blue, what, what makes you think that you can turn it green, John, John Dumelo? Has anything changed? What has she done in the last eight years or in the last six years? Nothing. Really? Yeah. What, what can you point to and say that, oh, um, look, you see, we speak to people. The roads are in East Legon are getting better, or oh? is that not? How, how are they? How are they getting better? Oh, I mean, election is only election time. They'll come and tell the road, three or four. No, times. from 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 Starbite Boundary Road. You, when, you can, they you, did that in 2020 before election. Yeah, but it's part of development, John. I, I just before elections. That. But are we not better? You drive on that road. Just Wouldn't before, you credit her for that? Maybe pushing to get it done. Just before elections. And then after elections, nobody sees you. And just when elections are popping up, you come and, you know, try and do some one or two things. I mean, come on. That's, that's not how you run an office as a member of parliament. You don't do that. What are you going to do differently in East Legon? Five things that John Dumelo will, will, will bring to the people of East Legon that you, know, you feel that they should vote for you. You know, East Legon is unique. Or oh, Ayawa Su West is unique, if mm. I may put it. Ayawa Su West... I dare say is the only constituency in Ghana that has about eight tertiary institutions. Wow. You have Legon, you have Gimpa, you have Unimac, which is GIJ, you have Naxford, you have Radford, you have UPSA, you have Atraco. Oh, so UPSA is under your... The, the hostel side. The hostel side, yes. okay. You have Atraco, you have Dominion University, you have the Mapping uh, School at 37. So you have about nine different tertiary institutions. Ayawasu West, in Ayawasu West It's huge. It's huge. What do the students need? Accommodation. That is the main problem. And that's one of the things I'll tackle when I become a member of parliament. So that's one, accommodation. One, accommodation. Two, security. I mean, look, almost every now and then you have people just snatching their phones up. And I mean, the students snatching their phones. There was a, two weeks ago we were campaigning at UPS and a girl was crying. I said, why are you crying? They said, you know, somebody just snatched their phone. And so security is very important. Three, we are lighting up Ayawa Suez Wogon. There are so many dark pockets in Ayawa Suez so spoken that we need to light up. We so you're fixing the street lights? We'll fix, yeah, we've started fixing the street lights. You have started? Yes. Uh, a year Tell ago, us. A year ago I, I donated street lights to University of Ghana. That's to light up the Ivandi stretch. And that's what we, we've started already. It's not something that... It's something that I've started... So you, you light up that corridor, that street, Ivandi Hostel. Yes, in front of John Ivandi. Dumelu did that. Yes. We started it, and we want to light up every single corner of Ayawa so West Wogon. No path should be dark in Ayawa so West. The fourth one is we want to attract as many businesses as possible because the more businesses we attract, the more employment we give to our people. Look, sometimes when you walk into restaurants in Ayawa, so I ask them, so where do you live? Oh, I live at Baalishi. Oh, I live at Shashi. Oh, I live at, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Mimpasem. And, and they are happy to be living and working in the same area. They just walk to work. And so that is it. We need to attract a lot of people. But the only, I mean, a lot of businesses. But the only way to attract a lot of businesses is if, if the businesses are secure. They know that they are safe when they come and open up shop. Mm. Because there's market for each and every one of them. I mean, look, we want, we want the big boys in, in Ayawasu to feel safe. You know, like yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> so, 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 safe. When, when you're sleeping, you know that, oh, that, what that? So, accommodation, security, street lighting, like, like you mentioned, and jobs. And jobs for the people. That's it. Job. Four. Oh, so, the last look, one will look, be what? Before, before I come mm. to the last one, Ayawaso is, I think, the, one of the, you know, if I just say, the few places where you have most government organizations have their headquarters, FDA, BOST, TOR, Ghana Gas, um, Standard Board, um, you know, so many of these. And, and so these government institutions are there. And so we need to create jobs for the people. 
because it, it's it's not fair when you have all these agencies there that you know, so what are you going to push that they, uh, they there should be a quota local so yeah. a quota for the the, the locals yes. in there yes or those within your constituency there should be a quota and there should be also a quota for those who come and set up offices in Iowa West to give to the people who live around interesting there that, should that, be a quota that, 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 that's the an fifth one goal. you're the, going to do that yeah i'm going to do that i'm going to do that the fifth one is Iowa West should be clean mm. It should be clean. We shouldn't have choked gutters. We shouldn't have litters, you know, rubbish. It should be clean. You, you should enter Iowa Suez and know that, wow, this is a But you can do that now. I mean, if you're vying for office, yeah. why don't you organize cleanup exercise regularly? I did I've, a, I've seen that you've done... I did the first one two weeks ago. In fact, I, no, I did the third one two weeks ago. Ah. Yes, I did the third. So we've been cleaning up. I mean, some people are so-called sanitation ministers, but we don't see them around. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Well... I did for you, is yeah, what you say. You. Yes. Well, why, why that slogan? You know, in 2020, when I was contesting, we were looking for a slogan. We were looking for, you know, that, that, that slogan that will catch on. And so I think we came with I did for you because, look, I'm here for you. And so once I'm here for you, you should know that your, your, your troubles are over. Or most of your troubles are over. So it's more or less like I did for you. And, and surprisingly, it's caught on so well. I mm. mean, now... Mm. People don't even call me John. They say, tell I did for you. What's I, wow. tell I, I, I did for you? you know? So I think it's a slogan that has caught on pretty much. Interesting. Well, we're, we're inviting calls, but also people can send us WhatsApp <laughs> messages. 0535183317. That's 0535183317 or 055-288-0216. John Dumelo is right here. He's our guest. And he's vying for the seat to become the member of parliament for Ayawa, so West Wagon. And, and, and Mansa sent in this one. Mansa says that, is it sure that you can solve every need of the people or be there for them, those who vote for you? No. You can't. No, everybody. And, and, and that's you being Yeah, that's me being like, I can't. I, and when I meet the people, when I meet the youth and they say they want jobs, I tell you that, look, I can't give everybody jobs, but I can give some of you jobs. So Significant. That, significant. So that as time goes on, you know, I would sort out the rest of them. And so... I tell you the truth. I can't solve everybody's needs, but at least when you see that there's progress being made, you know that, oh, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, Interesting. Yeah. We'll, we'll get into your personal life and lots of messages are coming in. People, people are in love with John Dumelo as well. So we'll, we'll get to the messages. But you're an actor yeah. and, and you're a farmer. Yeah. How the 24-hour economic policy impact on these two sectors practically i mean for you as an actor <clears throat> and as a farmer before we delve into the whole society i am i am i am in agribusiness you know i i i farm i add value to whatever it is i produce and so um we have production units we have places where people pack the stuff you have places where people process the ginger into powder into paste and so on and so forth and we work from eight to five, sometimes eight to six, because that's the end of the day. But we need to continue production. And what the NDC is simply saying with the 24-hour economy is, look, let's run a shift system. Businesses must, mustn't end because the day is over. That's it. And so for me, as, as, as a businessman, what I need to do is in the evenings, I know that another shift is going to come. And you're fully ready for yeah, this. Yeah, I'm fully ready for this. Because what am I getting? Tax incentives reduced tariffs in terms of uh, electricity, security, and so on and so forth. Who wouldn't enjoy this? But like you and I, we travel around the world. We go to cities that never sleep. Mm. Sometimes when you go U.S. and things, your party is, Charlie, I don't go job, and it's 10 in the night, and the person is going to work. Why can't we do the same thing in Ghana so that we keep the economy running 24 hours? So you're going to get your farmers work 24-7. They run shifts, yes. In shift, that's it, 24 hours. Because, look... When, when, when you harvest the ginger, you peel it, you wash it, you peel it, you wait for some time, you blend it, you package it. When it's five, oh, that's it. No, mm. but, but if, if we're running shift, you don't have to wait till the next day. People will come from 6 to 10 or 6 to 11. The another group will come, maybe the packaging group will come from 11 or 12 to 4 uh, a.m. And then the next shift comes. And so we need to keep on running because when you have huge orders... You mm. can't say, oh, we can't meet up. We can't meet it in two weeks because, because our people work from eight to five. You can say you can meet it, meet it. You know, you can meet up with it in four or five days because you are running a twenty-four hour economy, and and that is what, that is simply what the NDC is saying. So that, you wholly believe in that policy, and you know that it's yeah, doable and feasible. It's doable. My, look, 
my father used to work in Eli Eliquid is a, a gas company. They, you know, they right. produce uh, oxygen, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, carbon dioxide, and so on and so forth. And those days, when I in the eighties, when I used to go to the factory, they close at five, they close at six. Why? Because they, they shut down the plant. Now, if you take a typical factory like that and it was running twenty four hours, you should know that oxygen is going to be in constant supply. All the um, essential gases are going to be in constant supply. The drivers are moving. Everything is working, and so you don't have to wait till. Please wait 8 in the morning when we open shop before you can come and buy your stuff. And so it is doable, it is possible, and it is something that is going to create millions of jobs across the country. And you are holy for it. So yes. we mentioned that's for your farming, you know, or agri you know, side. Yes. What about acting? Yeah. Look, well, I've been acting for so many years. Um, when is, when is uh, 8 or 9 in the evening? Everybody says, oh, Charlie, you're bread. Everybody says, oh, you know what, we are tired. Yeah. But guess what? After we finish, we are human beings. We cannot, we cannot work 24. We ca I cannot work 24 hours. And so we have to run shift. But after we finish shooting our scenes and so on and so forth, the technical people take over. The editors, they can run 24 hours. They can, they can now take over the shift and say that, you know what, we are going to work from 8. Whatever it is we filmed, we are going to use it. We are going to edit it from 8 to 12 or 8 to 2 or 8 to the next morning. And then... So another badge will take over. So you believe that the policy direction is needed and, and clearly will, will actually set this emotion. Exactly. Who wouldn't want to reduce tariffs? Who wouldn't want tax incentives because they are working 24 hours? Everybody would want that. Businessmen, everybody would want that. I met a business guy who he says, you know what, John, we package. And the package we use, we use a lot of electricity because we use heat to seal the things. And so for me, what he said was, John, for me, I'm going to use evening time to be able to package my stuff because that is when the electricity tariffs, tariffs have been reduced. And that's simply what we are saying. It, this is not a 1D, 1F thing that is a hoax or is a hoax or is something that uh, one district, one whatever, whatever those guys say. I mean, this is something that is going to work. Mm. And it is not, it doesn't involve so much. It just involves the private sector coming on board to say, hey, I love your 24-hour economy uh, policy and I'm hooked onto it and let's make Ghana work again. You, you have... A lot of universities, you mentioned about six or seven within yeah. your, you know, constituency. How do you seek to raise digital awareness as, as an MP? Look, um, AI is the way to go now, pretty much. And, and uh, these days, you can't do anything without data. You can't do anything without computers. You can't do anything without... Uh, nothing is manual. Everything is digital. And so you have students who are now, you know, asking for laptops, asking for data and so on and so forth to be able to enhance the work that they do. Everything yeah. is on it. And so the first thing, you know, I, I, I wish, wish I could do, do which I started in 2020, was giving out free laptops to the students. So the government is doing that now. Will you hear such, you know, where, where you a, a policy? They're giving out laptops. Mm -hmm. Four, 450,000 laptops have, have been, you know, deployed to be given or distributed to schools, to tertiary institutions, to those in, in, in SHS. The, 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 Will you salute such a move? No. Why? By you the, did that? By, personally, I did it. Okay. Yes. So as an MP, you will, you will continue that if you are to win? It's progressive. Government is doing it. Will you, will you commend them for it? No. Why? Because it's progressive. You can't share laptops to, university, to, to secondary school students when they don't have anywhere to sleep, when they don't have food to eat. When you were giving it to them, they still had those such are issues. Those are university students. Right. And this is personally from my pocket. I'm not government. Correct. I was doing it as an individual. But they still don't have a place to sleep, like you're saying. So if government is government is also giving it to university, I mean students. No, no Legon. Legon, mm. what Legon is doing is one 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 student, one laptop policy. Personally, by okay. the university. By the university. Not uh, 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 what do you call it? Yeah, not, but Legon also recognized that there are these issues, but they're still giving one laptop per student. Yes, but I get your point. Yes. But they are also trying to solve the accommodation issue. Because it's pro that's what I'm saying. You have to do everything progressive. Like the recently. So you will not salute government for you no. How can you go and give uh, iPads and stuff to, to, to what, basic school students when they are learning? When they are, senior, yeah, when, senior when, high school. When, yeah. when, when, they are, when they are learning on the phone, when they don't have anywhere to sleep, when they don't have food to eat, when you, know, when you watch the documentary on, on, on the other stations. I mean, so then how do you bridge the digital gap? Because everybody's looking at Industry 4.0. Even now it's, you know, 5.0. So how then do you bridge the gap? Government feels that let's, let's project or get into the future now by going digital. When you don't have light, when there's doom so, when you've not fixed it, when the student, I mean, look, you can give somebody a laptop, mm. but if the person is hungry, forget the laptop. 
That's why the NDC said the free SHS has to be progressive. Progressive. Build the, the, the facilities. Let the students feel safe. Let them have somewhere to lay their head. Let them have good food to eat. Then you can progressively attach this, uh, you know, laptop. But if you don't do that, you don't expect somebody in, you know, uh, you know, uh, a region somewhere who there's no light, there's no food to eat, nothing, nowhere to sleep, bed bugs, and so on and so forth. And and the parents are complaining. The students go yeah, from the house. They go, you know, nice, fat, you know, cool, and then they come back lean. And they say, are giving them laptops to do what? What are the textbook. textbooks that they, they were supposed to be given to the SHS students? Are there any textbooks? No, but you say are giving laptops. What is it? So, 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 so you believe that government should take a second look at it? Completely. Is the 2024 election done and dusted for the NDC? From, from what you hear from people, like you said, you go around, people are telling, oh, John, yes, you're coming in. Is that the same for the party? You know, when I go somewhere, people say, oh, yeah. John, oh, you, oh, you, I say, hey, cool down. Oh, so it's not done and dusted. No, there's work to be done. No, because until the last ballot paper, paper is counted, mm. it is not done and dusted. It is not. It's not done and dusted. Uh, a can, lot of work. A lot of work. You can't. Be, people cannot say, okay, yes, people are fed up with MPP. So NDC, it's it's a done deal for. It is not a done deal. It's till, not a given. Till the last ballot paper is counted across the country and President Mahama has been declared the winner, and most of our MPs, including myself, are in Parliament. So it is not. A, we have to be vigilant. Because these guys are going to steal. Are you afraid of that? Or, or do you sleep and think that the MPP will, will rig the election? Does it cross your mind? We are ready for them. No, when you say it's two different things, I'm saying that does it cross your mind that yes. it's going to be free? It does. Yeah. You are afraid or the you think that you have about the thought that the MPP can rig the elections? Elections are free, but can never be fair when it comes to the MPP. And so we are ready for what Elections, are, that, that is a very serious thing. Yeah. But of course, they've been in power for these two times. They've yeah. been in power during President Kufo. Yeah. Are you saying that during those times it wasn't free and fair? No. Interesting. Go to the Asante region. Go to the Asante region and listen to what they say. I mean, come on. You have people just thumb printing the ballot papers and put it. Elections but, are free. but President Bahama conceded. So it means that, yes, it carried on. Because, he he's, a, a, because he's a peaceful man. President Bahama is a peaceful man. Are you saying the MPP didn't win the 2016 elections? <laughs> fair and square? No. They, they, they rigged it. How can you get one million votes, invisible votes? For? Look, we, 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 we had a thorough, we've had a thorough analysis of the 2020 elections. And we realized that there was a rigging. You, no, you were beaten in 2016. 2020, yes. you were beaten. And yes. if you knew that 2016, they rigged it, why then did, weren't you, you know, out there to also protect the ballot box? We did. We did. And still you were beaten. We did. But in 2024, it's going to be different. Really? Yes. How different, John? Because Dumele? the voice of the people is the voice of God. It's always been the voice yes, of God. Yes, exactly. So we are ready. And Vox re Populi, Vox Populi. Yeah, so if you are ready... Is that a cracker? <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you saying that 2020, you, you, were, you were vigilant in 2020? We were vigilant in 2020. Then what happened but if we, you're saying that it was rigged? You see, 2016, I don't think we're that... 2020, what happened in 2020, we were extra vigilant. That's fine. Are you sore losers? No. Are you sure? No, we're not. We're not all so what are you going to do in 2024 that you feel extra that extra vigilant? Yes, but the MPP and will also to, be uh, extra nope, vigilant, nope, and they say it's free and fair. Nope, it is not free and fair for them. They are going to they are going to rig the elections. Do you, do you know the things that they are doing? What are they doing? And, oh, no, I know, I know if you talk. Bola. Really? No. And so we are ready, and we are ready for them in 2020. Are you not? Are you not just pulling something out there so that in the events that you don't win? No, 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 no. We are winning. There's no event matter. We are winning the 2024 election hands down. What makes you so sure that John Mahama will win the presidential elections? John because, because of one, what the people are saying. President Mahama is a truthful man. And all the things he said, people are now coming to realize that, ah, say Akwe, MP before, uh, what, they, they've lied to us. He, he was truthful about everything that was going on in the country. But people turn that truth to, oh, this, oh, this. When was the last time... Any MPP official has come out to say, oh, you know, because of the doom, so yes, we admit there's a problem and so and so and so. They'll tell you, bring, the, bring your own timetable if there's a doom, if there's doom, so. How can you say that? How can you say that? To my question, what makes you so sure that President John Mahama will win? Everything points to the victory of um, NDC in 2024, including what the people are saying. Two things. Including, one, what the people are saying, and two, the measures we've put in place to be able to win the election. So, are you saying that come 7th January yes. 2025? President Mama will be holding that sword 
and he'll be elected or he'll be sworn in as the president of this country twenty twenty. And it's going to be one touch. One touch. Really? One touch. There, there, there are two independent candidates, or if you want two people, strong people at least for now. Mr. Alan Kujo Chairman Tin. Nana Kwami Bidiako. I mean, these are forces that people feel that if not for nothing at all, they can push this election to a second round or make it a difficult contest. Do you agree? They could push it to a second round. They could. So it will not be one touch. They could. Like you, 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 okay. But that's something. They could. Mm. They could push it to a second round. But they are against the MPP. Oh, these two oh, people. I mean, clearly. I mean, we are, we are, all, fight, we are all fighting against the ruling government. We are not fighting among ourselves. We are so fighting if you should go into a second round, you'll join the NDC. I, I, I right hope, the oh, of course, I hope, I hope they'll join the NDC. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think you to go to a second round. You don't? I don't think so. I you think it'll be one You are time. very sure that I'm it's going to be a one-touch? I'm very sure and I'm very confident about that, yes. Extremely confident. All right. We, we, we have a message coming with it. Uh, some 22 minutes, well, actually, 18 minutes to 8. eight. My, My name is Bolare, and our guest is John Dumelo, right here on Star Chat. With 18 minutes to 8, eight. I have this one coming in from Messi. Messi joining us from Legon. And uh, actually from Westlands. Okay, so West Legon. And he says that some why didn't John go for a seat in the Volta region? How come he's he stuck to his original choice of Ayawasu West Wugon? Why didn't I go to Volta region? Volta region. Many there were speculations that you're going to the Volta. Did you ever consider that? I mean consider that. You I'm, considered it? I'm a farmer. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, so my farming takes me all over the country. Did I mean, you consider going to I, I, Bolari? Please I, do. I, I, there was a time I went for an event in somewhere in the eastern region, and I should, it was just three hours I spent, and they were like, ah, John, I'm crying. Can you bar the contest in my ear? And so, you know, there are places where I go, and people will say, okay, yeah, John, come and contest, come and contest. But that is not the case. Mm. I think I, I think my love ha and my heart has always been in Iowa, so West Wagon. And um, I contested in 2020, and no candidate has ever come back to contest again in Iowa, so West on the ticket of NDC. And this is the first time somebody's coming back to contest. And, and, and you know, I, I think that, no, I think I know that we're going to win the election in 2024. So I, I never con considered going anywhere. Yeah. You never considered no, no, no. going to the Volta region no, 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 to contest. No, no. Never crossed no, no. your mind. I mean, if, of course, people will tell you, "Oh, John, why don't you contest here? Why did you know?" People will tell you that, right. but I don't think so. No. How is it? You and your good friend Fred Nyama. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did he give you some butterflies in the tummy? Did he a point? You said that yes, you, you didn't trust him at a point. You so thought that he had actually, you know, backstabbed, backstabbed you and all that. Bola. Yes. yes. Matter, How's it now? The matter passed. He died. He died. Yeah. He make you just Are we, die. you way better at the point where you shocked that Bola? Yes. Make that thing die. <laughs> <laughs> because me and you are yeah. we know Fred. So yeah. you made yeah. that thing die. Why right not me be the parliamentary candidate? Yeah. Make a he has, he, he, you, you have his support, right? Oh yeah. I mm. mean, I, I bumped into him about two weeks ago and we were talking. I mean, we spoke briefly and yeah, you know. I was at an event uh, last week at the I Kim, saw the picture at yeah. the Kempinski yeah. as well. And and your good friend, an actor, Prince David Osei. Yeah who we all know is with the MPP mm. says that this time around he's going to campaign for you yes. and he's going to you know support you yeah do you find that strange is this something that he's reached out to say yeah he has I mean ah, I met him a week ago and he was like ah I was like hey Prince David he was like John I'm serious I'm coming to campaign for you he campaigned for the incumbent yeah honorable leader Al Hassan yes but now he I wants to campaign do you for trust me. him that he's actually or maybe he's just no you know, I, mere. I think I think I think I trust him I think I trust him. And and you welcome Prince Day to, to campaign I'll for you. I welcome everybody who didn't support me in 2020 to support me in 2024 to be able to be member of parliament. Were you hurt in 2020? I'd be candid with us when you saw your colleagues going to the other side and campaigning for them. When you knew that, look, these are my friends. These are people I've been with in the industry. Everybody has a choice. Everybody has a choice to make. Were you hurt? Of course. I mean, of course, when I saw the picture, I was like, ah. My point was, at least you talk me say you they come. Mm. <laughs> come and say, and don't come. Come. Charlie John, they say make you come, so we they come. But if you see pictures, make you no ball. Yeah, I mean, but so when I saw, I was like, ah, Charlie, you go back. But I mean, look, it's it's campaign. It's mm. part of life. Mm. It mm. is it is lessons. It's lessons. But now, most of them are coming to campaign. Oh, most me. of them are yeah. coming. So it's not just Prince Day. No, 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 no. Either they are not coming at all, or they are coming for me. You know. So that's why I didn't really react because God has a special way of, you know, arranging things. Wow. Yeah. You are, you are, I mean, your party, and you're very close to President Bahama yeah. as well. What would the NDC government do differently for the creative industry this time? 
Look, I think that, and I know that the creative industry is a very strong force when it comes to development. Now, the reason why you and I will go to, or the reason why people will go to Dubai and so on and so forth is because of how, you know, tourist and creative arts and so on and so forth. And I know for a fact that President Mahama has a creative art industry at heart. I mean, why is it that when it comes to election time, they like to involve a lot of creative arts people? Because they know we are power force or we are power block. And once we say we are going left, everybody's going left. And so I know for a fact that when our manifesto comes, you know, what the, the plans that we have for the creative art industry will be spelt out, you know, back to back. Back to back. Yeah. Well, we, we, we have a message uh, coming in from Nanase. Nanase says that we're listening to the show on campus, on Gimpa right. campus, and hello to John. Yeah. But I want to find out from him as an alumnus of Gimpa, two degrees from Gimpa, is that right? That's yeah. what Nanase yeah, is yeah, saying. Yeah. Uh, what has he done for the school? Oh, like and that's his constituency too. So that's from Nanase. Like Question to John Dumelo, an alumnus of Gimpa. You're running for office in that constituency. And, and that demographic, of course, I mean, students and all of that, what have you done for Gimpa? You know, I just, I, I finished my second, I finished my, my master's in Gimpa, I think 2001. And constantly I've been there engaging the lecturers, engaging the students. And, you know, they keep on telling me what or some of the things that they need for Gimpa. What have you done for them? You you, you actually ran for office in 2020. And so yes. between now, you're saying you're doing a lot for yes. University of I Ghana. I mean, in 2020, I, some of the laptops I shared, I shared, I gave some to Gimpa students, you know. Oh, I, I okay. gave, especially the less privileged. I gave, I gave some to Gimpa students. And currently, we are working hand in hand with the SRC to be able to improve, you know, the student life on campus. Gimpa is different. Gimpa is not a typical tertiary institution where you have hostels, where people live on campus. Everybody comes in and goes out, you know. Um, the second thing I've done is recently I offered 200 internship slots for students across the constituency. Oh, you did that? 200? We, we had over 4,000 applications. Um, even even we had, Thinking of even bringing some to Star FM here, but mm. the connection you blast, but we go reconnect them. <laughs> you know, so offering uh, op the internship opportunities to students, and these are the few things I can do or I did to help some of the students mm. across the country, not just Gimpa, Gimpa, Gimpa Legon, UPS, and so on and so forth. And these guys are working in Gimpa, banks, oil and, and gas, gas companies, companies, restaurants here and then. And these, you know, this are my little contribution. This is my little. This is interesting. Yeah. I can see that you have a blueprint for the youth because yes. for me, I'm concerned because I know. 58% of Ghanaians are below 25 years. Definitely. So we need to impact their lives. And all. But what do you think of a significant agenda that you want to focus on as an MP, that you are delivering a promising future, especially in the next maybe 10, 15 years, if you get into office? You mean my agenda for? Yes, for the youth in particular. I think it's about job creation, one, mm. entrepreneurship, two, especially entrepreneurship, you know, because not everybody wants to work, but people also want to be the boss. People want to own businesses. And mm. I feel the youth these days are more, and uh, they are more enterprising, if, I'm, if that's the word, or they are more entrepreneurial, right. you know, than, than, you know, probably our old folks, you know. And so I think job creation, creating an avenue for them to set up their own jobs mm. and also looking for jobs for them to be able to, you know, um, what do you call it? Fend for themselves. What? One other thing which is very dear to my heart is this rent advance issue. And I've always been talking about it on Twitter. And the youth are complaining that, you know what, look, one year, two years, three years rent advance is too much. And that's one of the few things. Well, that's, you, you want know, to address? Yeah, I want to address when I become a member of parliament. That, look, we should, we, it, has to be, it has to be a law. It has to be six months. Oh, you are advocating for six months? Yes, advocate. Rent advance. At most? At most, six months. Because, mm -hmm. you see, I spoke to a landlord. And, and the landlord, and, and he has so many houses around. I said, boss, so why, you know, they collect monthly? He says, John, I can collect monthly. But I can collect monthly. And I mean, my school fee. And it becomes, so they like to collect one year. Okay. After. But if Ghanaians are genuine, six months can work. No, but now with Ghana card and all of that, it should be easy. 
But that, what, the Ghana card, you could take it there. No, no, but I, I mean, your location and all of that, everything is synced. Yeah. So they know where you are, you have a known address and all of that. That should help. Yeah, but people, they change address all the time. The Ghana card, the address we they put for top, most of them be fake, fake address. It don't be me, more. Oh, really? It don't be me. You're yeah, telling me. I didn't but know. It don't be me. It don't be me talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, but at least it's linked to your bank, yes. your account, yes. your address where you live. Oh, but Ghana, if you want loss, you just feel lost. You know, mm. they like UK way if you lost. So it has to also uh, be a very parties. It means that yes. we need to yes. Yes. educate people. Yes. Let, let, yes. Let's have our yes. faith, you know. And, and, and the truth is, I know some landlords who take three months, even monthly, even six months. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I salute them for that. I think six months, look, somebody cannot earn a salary, a youth cannot earn a mm. salary of 800, 900, 1,000 CDs. And pay. And then mm. you want the person to pay two years rent advance for Chemai Hall mm -hmm. and then maybe Chemai was like 800 Ghana right. where is the person going to take 7,200 so really 8,400 from times 2 that's 16,800 yes. years where the person will go collect that money from you know so I think it's a big issue it should be 6 months and, and it should be a law 6 months with probably 2 or 3 months uh, deposit so that in case of any and you believe that it's something that even this should come to power you push for that I'll to be addressed for I'll push for that 6 months Straight up. Look, there will be a lot. People will have a lot of uh, disposable income. Mm. People will have a lot of money to do other things. And once it's six months, it's six months. Time is one now. So other countries are doing monthly. But yeah, monthly in some way because of our attitude. Let's, let's push for six months. And that's what I'll push when I get to Parliament. Interested. Interested insights right here on Star Chat. We'll be going for a short break. But when we return, there's a lot more and it's going to get hot and interesting right here on Star Chat. A big thank you to MTN everywhere you go. You know, we all have those days when uh, we are low on everything. It can be time, energy, cash, and even airtime and data. Well, that's why MTN Extra Time is an airtime and data advanced service that allows you to make your calls or browse the internet even when you have insufficient balance. So all you have to do is dial star 506 hash. It's simple. Star 506 hash. And you go through the prompt and select the amount of airtime or data that you need. It's more than simple. Yes, MTN everywhere you go. When we get back, I'll be telling you about the MTN Momo app and also about Haptel. Haptel is giving you something exciting and GCB Bank is right here. So we're going for a short break. When we come back, a lot more right here on Star Chat. And I thank you for your messages as well. Loads for John Dumelo to answer when we we're back. When you want to eat, just Momo it. Tired of the long queues in the supermarket? Pay with Momo. When you really want that beautiful new blouse, just Momo it. When you want to get a trim and get fresh to impress you know who, just Momo it. When you need to pay your utility bills and domestic staff, Chani Momo. When you want to send love to the family back home, send some Momo. Join the millions of MTN Momo users all over Ghana and live life the brighter way. So just Momo it. MTN. Is still no here. What at all could be the issue? Oh, calm down. I'm sure you'll be here soon. Oh, guys, 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 sorry I'm late. Could you bab me for road? Sick of my insurance expired. Some long <laughs> issue, Charlie. <laughs> ah, chairman, pal. Hey, you make Koti Bab, you sick of you forget to renew your car insurance. When you can get your car insurance sticker instantly on Haptel. And best of all, you can set a reminder to renew. Simple matter. Just install the app. Enter your car number and oh la la, your instant insurance sticker is there. I bet oh really? Make a do am now before I forget. But and the move, and the move, see, 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 and the move, and the move, insurance sticker need the move one time. I can even renew it every month. Wow, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. As for this one today, as usual, the sitting is on me. Visit hotel.com slash app to download your Haptel app and set a reminder to renew your car insurance today. Haptel is everything you. Tell him, is still no here. What at all could be the issue? Oh, calm down. I'm sure you'll be here soon. Oh, guys, 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 sorry I'm late. Could you bab me for road? Sick of my insurance expired. 
Some long issue, Charlie. <laughs> ah, chairman, pal. Hey, you make what the you say coffee. You forget to renew your car insurance. When you can get your car insurance sticker instantly on Aptel. And best of all, you can set a reminder to renew. Simple matter. Just install the app, enter your car number, and oh la la, your instant insurance sticker is there. Agbe oh, really? Make a do am now before I forget. One time. I can even renew it every month. Wow. Charlie, 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 as for this one, today, as usual, the sitting is on me. Visit hoptel.com slash app to download your Hoptel app and set a reminder to renew your car insurance today. Hoptel is everything you. It's portable, disposable, and always on hand when you need it. Flora Disposable Handkerchief fits in your pocket or bag, and it's always ready to come to the rescue. Sweat? No problem. Coughs and colds? Caught safely. Tears of joy or despair? Wiped away. Flora tissues in the form of disposable handkerchiefs, box tissue, toilet roll, multi-purpose towels, and table napkins plays an important role in personal, home, school, office, and commercial hygiene, minimizing the spread of infections and keeping us healthy. Flora tissues are made with premium tissue paper, so choose Flora tissues. To be a distributor, call 0243-033-033. The other day, I visited Kweku at his spunky new office to congratulate him on opening his business home. And man, was I impressed. The business is just moving quick. The sales, customers, everything is just working seamlessly. The secret, hmm. Huh, he said, it's empty and business broadband. In this fast-paced environment, we need fast and reliable internet to support all business types. No laggy online meetings, great download and upload speeds, impeccable business management systems, all inclusive. I mean, you can have it all. Shout! I signed on immediately. <laughs> to enable your business stay ahead and stay connected, make sure you're signed on to the best internet made just for businesses. MTN Business Broadband. Sign up today on broadband.mtn.com.gh and manage your account on my MTN app. Call 0244 for more information. We are good together everywhere you go. Right, so you're welcome back right here on Statch. And a big thank you to Haptel. You know, sometimes buying your car insurance isn't the problem. It is when you forget to renew it and then you get into trouble with the police or an accident. Instant car insurance is now on Haptel. So go ahead and get your instant car sticker anytime. That's your car insurance sticker. Anytime. No long things. It's from Haptel. You can also set a reminder for your next renewal date. So go to Haptel.com forward slash app. And install your Haptel app and set a reminder. Haptel is everything you. And also, I'll be telling you about MTN Momo. Did you know that MTN Momo now has an app? MTN Momo has a brand new app, specially designed to make your Momo experience easier, convenient, and faster. So just download your Momo app on Play Store or App Store on your smartphone and look out for the blue and the yellow icon. Is that simple? Yes. MTN, just Momo it everywhere you go. John. Welcome back. Chief. And uh, lots of messages for you, you know, we'll, we'll get into it. And uh, let's talk about you losing the bet and you had to walk. <laughs> yeah. T tell us about that experience for the, for the first time. Share with us what, what went through your mind. How was it like? And you kept to your word. That's what many are saying that you're a man of, you know, integrity and of your word. What was going through your mind, Chief? Well, the first thing that went through my mind was a cracker I wasn't part of the fight. <laughs> <laughs> you had to rub that in. That's fine. Yeah. Don't worry. But but as I think being uh, you know a former student of Achimota, I was happy that they got to the finals, mm. and you know I was praying that they would win. And you see, then Presek they vex me. The boys they vex me. I have so many Presek friends, but I was like, look, Achimota has to win, and if they don't win, of course I'm going to walk backwards from <clears throat> Ayawa Suez to Presek, which you know. Presec won and I had to walk backwards because 
a lot of people say, ah, John, but this is what you said you're going to mm. do. But mm. then, you know, so I did it. And I think it is a better than... The that. trolls on social media and all of that. How did you take that? Oh, I'm used to the trolls. Mm. You know, I'm used to the trolls. But the thing is, I said something and I had to do it. Like the first, like, I think two years ago when I said, if Nigeria beats Ghana, I'll walk barefoot from mm. here. I was happy Ghana won because that, that, that barefoot... Would you have done that? Now I can say yes. <laughs> Yeah, no, I life, yeah, life at a Chimoti school, yeah. Motown. Which house were you in? Lugard. Lugard house. Yeah. Is it the best house? People say G Bag. Some no, would say G Bag is that bar house. Ah. Lugard was just a mixture of everybody. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So I was happy. I walked mm. backwards from you know Ayo West to 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 Prisek. And yes, maybe it did. You know, I did gain some some love for that. That's you right there. I mean, you're on our screens and yeah, doing that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So. Yeah. Talk about Motown, and, yeah. and, and you won the prize while there. Yeah, 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 I won the Flyers guy. The Flyers guy, yeah. what was that? So you were cool, you yeah, were nice. Yeah, those, those countries, cool, nice, uh, you know, sweet guy. No, you're, you're a sweet guy. How, how, how are you taking it with the ladies? I mean, I, I just saw an interview that you had with Jocelyn. Or, that was 10 years ago. No, that was 10 years ago, they had to ago. bring you back. You know, you say that time for... Uh, that time, you know, Marie said. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So before marriage, how was it like, did you have issues with women? No. Really? Yeah, we were dating here and there, but you know. Dating, dating here and there. Yeah. So you had about five women before your wife or something dating here and there. Cumulatively or yeah, cumulatively. I mean, not not just those who are overlapping. Or yeah, overlapping and or they are like twins. <laughs> in in their form. How, how's it like being a fine boy, intelligent? You know. Bola. Yeah. Yeah. Well dressed. How, how do you manage that? You mean how, like now? No, no, before. I mean, how are you? Oh, that? I mean, it's, it's, it's just, just part of life. I, I, you know, I, manage, I try and manage it well, mm. pretty much, yes. Ever dated anybody in the, in, in, in the film industry? No, sir. Oh, you haven't? No. Yeah, my Lord, no. <laughs> so all that you were doing on screen was just, you know, yeah, yeah. it ends there. It does it. When they say cut, does it. Is it yeah. I know where you go, but <laughs> we know we we'll go there. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm, 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 I'm just asking. There are messages from my. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, yeah, so yeah, I just want to ask. No. I'm, I'm just, you know, doing the question. Yeah, but no problem. Yeah. Don't worry. Stop no. signaling. Yeah. No, we we'll, won't we'll, we'll, we'll get there. And then you you, you became Mr. University. Yes. At KNUS. Yes. What, what was that as well? Is it like a, it was a like a pageant for guys ah. in the first year? So yes. And, and, and you and won, won that. Yeah. yeah. What kind of guy were you back on campus? And any nickname for you? No, I think I was just called JD on campus. JD, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, mm. you know, it was just okay. Um, yeah, and then after that, that's when I, I went into full commercial okay. filmmaking, and actually the first series I did was with Prince Dave. Ah, you know Prince Dave, uh, Beverly, and uh, Yvonne Autry. Mm. You know, so I've known Prince Dave thing, since 2007, 2008. You know, so we well, that's when we started becoming close. Wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's that's, that's, yeah, that's a long yeah, time ago. Yeah. So 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 for you, yes. Then you had to go into acting yeah, full time. Yes. Were your parents disappointed? I mean, bless your mom. Yes. She rest in perfect yeah, peace yeah. and all of that. How did the family take that? That you're going to full time after? I mean, acting. Here you are, civil engineer. But you said, look, I'm going to be an actor. My my dad is a very liberal guy. You mm. know, anything goes. I mean, look, once. Once you're okay, once once you're happy, he's happy. Okay. You know, and of course, my parents were just you know, once they're happy, you're mm. happy as well. And then of course, when I got into politics, when I got into our Greek, you know, they were also equally happy as well. Okay. Especially my mom, you very know, supportive. Yeah, very, my mom was very. I mean, we don't we don't talk much. Me and my mom, then since <laughs> we talk like once a week, you know. Oh. But my dad every day. Oh, every yeah, day you yeah, speak yeah, to your dad. Yeah, every day. But my mom, my mom, yeah, we used to talk. But of mm. course. I was closer to my mom than my dad. Okay. Right. So, um, going to the messages, and this one is from Samuel Nihefer. It says, I'm watching you guys from Michigan, uh, USA. Great show. And Bola, I go to work 1 a.m. in the U.S. It's fun. It's very productive. So, oh, I support John on, on that and the NDC. And uh, Hajia Salam. Okay. So, it says that, please ask him what he would do to the guy who... The guys who were harassed by the forces during the by election uh, in, in Ayawa Su West were gone. Did he follow up on that? So that's from uh, Salam. Yeah. I mean, every year we visit them. Uh, mm. We give them, you know, the little support that we can. And so we've been doing including including uh, President Mahama as well. So so mm. every year we visit them and and uh, we we give them the support that they need. All right. Yeah. And Bright Kudom says this man is very serious. Bola, thanks so much. I've seen the other side of John Dumelo today on your show. No wonder your show is number one. Well, th thank you very much, Bright. And he says at least 
he earns a big legal bread already and i pray for is it true that he's a lawyer or I know he's a lawyer, yeah he, you have masters in law i have masters in law masters in natural resources natural resources yes. okay even my wife will be lawyer not with me <laughs> Chrissy frank says that bola i love the rent policy <laughs> idea from john dumelo with the youth we go vote for one power for ayawa so west to god oh, oh, <laughs> Thy world gh says that i think that it should be like the european system bank debit every month for the rents john for mp that's from delali 2024 we are with you honorable richard john mensa please the constituency needs improvement i don't know who richard john mensa is for the mc or whatever but um john the lord did already you just that it's not being enforced actually yes that's from Eden. <coughs> Actually, the law is there already, yes. but we need to enforce it, yes. Okay, so it says that the, on the rent policy, yeah. the, the, the law is, is, is there. Yes. And Asante Ohene says that, what is John Dumelo talking about? The NDC also shared ROG laptops during the NDC time. The MPP is doing that. Did the students have a place to sleep at the time that the NDC shared laptops? That's from Asante Ohene. But at that time, we didn't do free SHS. At the, at the time, did, you, did the NDC <coughs> share laptops? Kuda. Yes. The time, the time we they share laptops, yeah. Get Fund was also building dormitories and infrastructure for the secondary schools. So it is it goes together. We're not having overcrowded students in the dormitories. We're not having the students were having good food to eat. So that's the difference. You are saying that it's going to be progressive. And yes, yes just because free SHS is in session done by the NPP, that is why you see the laptop sharing as, as bad. Is that no, what you're saying? Just because the students are suffering, that is why the laptop sharing is bad. But during the NDC time, the there, was, there was no overcrowded. There was no red, gold, green, uh, shift. black, purple shift. Everybody, you go first term, second term, third term, you have good food to eat. Everybody's okay. Look, anyway. So yeah, we too we shared, but <laughs> one at a time be different. You, okay, so yeah. you've admitted that the NDC shared. Yeah, we laptop. shared, but okay. the conditions then prevalent then yeah, yeah, was, was, was different. Was, was different. Mm. Do, do you believe that, or in the anti-gay bill, you know, being passed? What What is the position of the party? Mm. The position position of NDC is that they believe in the you know uh, value the the family values and so on and so forth, and and that's where I stand. What is the position of John Dumelo? I stand with the NDC. You stand with the yeah. NDC that it should be yeah. passed. Yeah. And, and that is. I stand with the NDC. Mm, 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 mm. So, some human, you know, rights activists believe that you know it's draconian, undemocratic. What do you have to say to that? Well, I stand with the NDC. Yes, yes. but then. But then I stand. I stand plus the NDC. So you don't. You don't see. Are, are you against gay? Are against you? them. Yes. No, what you do in your room is different. No, and no be yeah. Okay. I'm not against anybody. We're all created by God. I'm not against anybody. No. Right. Yeah. But then your take is my take is I stand with the NDC, the position of the NDC. Mm. Yeah. That it should it should be the president should assent to it. Yeah. All right. We'll, 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 we'll get into it some some more. No, 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 no. that'd be all. Why? No, wait. Not not on the gay issue. But oh, we'll okay, okay. Why are you uncomfortable talking about no, it? No, I'm not. Yeah, but why? Why? Because for this passion, for yeah. this first one, he said we'll get into it some more. All the questions you know talk, we we'll get into them. This one, you won't get into it. Bola, bola, cafe. Right. No, no, no. Just, 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 just take it easy. Okay, so Collins, a dying <clears throat> boat. You says that what's his relationship with Majid Michelle now? We hardly see them together. Any issues? That's from Collins. Uh, I do. No, no, no. no. Mm. I, there are no issues at all. Okay. Yeah. All right, this one says that if NDC should come to power, will he go in for buffer stock to be the CEO? That's from Kweku Campbell. If I chop MP or when I chop MP, I can't be CEO of buffer mm, stock. Mm, so, mm. you know, that's that's that's, that's out that, of yeah, that's out of the equation. Okay, right. So, uh, as we get into it, we are activating the phone lines now. You can join us 053 518 3317 or 055 288 that's 02, well, 053 518 3317 or 055 288 0216. And um, you were married. Yes. You've been married for how many years? Five, six. Oh, six years. Yeah. Wow, with two beautiful children. Yes. I mean, the ones I know, two years. Oh, the ones you know? Yeah. Ah, so there are some you don't know. <laughs> John Tubelo. Hey, so are they older than those who are oh, there or is in between? Or they go text me that my age right now. So <laughs> <laughs> no, two, two kids, yes. Two, two, two yeah. lovely kids. Yeah. Oh, that's your wife and she's a lawyer. Where do you guys meet? Where we met. Yes. How do you meet her? Uh, we, we met in Accra. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it at the party? As a function? What function was it? Where? No, I, we met in an office. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you right away knew that, look, this lovely lady will be no, my... No, be right it, was, it, was, it wasn't love at first sight? I go house, go bed, where I, I wake up and say, no. No. Yeah. The TRC yesterday, no. Nice thing. In my spec. Buddha. Yeah. <laughs> Did she stretch you like we say? Did he actually, you know, had to drag it and uh, because everybody, everybody knows John Dumelo. So they would say, oh, that is a that's a player in quotes. Then you know, that's a womanizer. That's a, a philandering bomb. That, that's oh, the thing they talk. It? I don't know. It be true. It be true. It like, be the blue. Like, yeah, the blue. We are. We are. We are. No, so she have <clears> those <throat> sentiments. Did she express them that I, yeah, are yeah. you to be trusted and all? Mm. Yeah, I mean, of course, every woman will have those kind of mm. things. You know, you're an actor and so on and right. so forth. So people think that, yeah. But yeah. but here we are. Love she's, won the, the day. Yeah. And I, and I, I see, see guys on social media. And every person, mm. she's down to earth. She allows you to go with the flow, do your thing. Yeah. She's behind the scenes. When, when she, she has to be yeah. right at the forefront, she would do that. Yeah, yeah. And you think love is a beautiful thing, right? Of course. Mm. It is. Mm. Oh, you know, be the... No, you see, just take it. This and it's like you are tense. No, I don't be tense. Relax, feel free. Yeah, yeah. yeah. having a conversation. But you said love is beautiful. Yeah, no, I just actually. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Love is a beautiful thing. Solid. Right, okay. right, right, right. You know, in your in, in well, your in your recent <laughs> interview, oh, you are in the AC and you are sweating, John. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we know we are just scratching the surface. God. Yes. In your recent interview, you said that some ladies and fans, you know. Enter your DMs and make advances <clears throat> and all of that. How, how did you how do you handle such, John? But I was then. Then yes. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean, then of course you you know you read it, you laugh, you like the fact that you are being appreciated and loved, and then and then you just move on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. No issues with ladies trying to you know you know some some of them can go extreme like or the extra massive. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's not just how me. do you handle because there are people listening to you and they, they maybe they are in, in, in that kind of. You know, situation they want to know how do you handle yeah, such when you don't also come across as rude well, or how arrogant do you, how do you handle it well i, I just i just do it I'm, I'm very nice to everyone i'm also nice to everyone <laughs> <laughs> oh no but okay we have a call online hello oh uh, too bad velocity hello good evening good evening hello <laughs> no we have a call on hello hello good evening hello yes this is star fm what's your name please from Major. Major. Yeah, Omar. Omar. Okay, great. You're on air. Let's hear you, please. I just have one question to ask John Dumelo. Are they? Too bad, too bad, but you can call 053 518 3317. 053 518 3317 or 055-288- 0216 055-288-0216 Yes, John, you, 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 you're you answering, I mean, how you handle the women and all of that. <clears throat> I'm just nice to right. them, you know, say, you know, you can say no in a polite way. And just, you know, you don't want to bruise anybody's ego. And, right. so, and so that's 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 what I do and that's what I say, yeah. And, and, and being in acting and yes, all of that, yeah. ever... Being a time where you feel that, well, Charlie, this is not for me. It's too difficult. I want to quit because of what it comes with. But I have a call on the line. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hey, John, our lines are jammed. The people are on the... Hello? It'd be me jammed. <laughs> you don't want them to ask you the questions. Uh, too bad, too bad, too bad. You can't can you go back. Yes. So you can join us with your calls. And this one is from... All right, so Mamiama says that listening to John, I've gotten a different perspective, you know, of him. Ask him, how do we support his campaign? Any short code we can donate to? Yeah, 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 yeah. You make it and make a talk the short code. <laughs> but we have a caller. Uh, okay. Hello, good evening. Oh, John, we are letting our callers. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. What's your name, boss? Okay, great. You're there. Any question for John Dubello? Please go ahead. Yeah, before my submission, I want to appeal to John Dubello that any time you get to the former president of the Republic and incoming president of the Republic of Ghana, you should say sorry to him that he voted against John Muhammad because of the lack of proper communication of the NDC community. Now we have realized the truth, so 
I appeal to him that he should say sorry to uh, President Mahama. Now that he can count the number of tenders President Mahama did. So, Mr. Zimelo, let me listen to you. My God, the real one in the family. Thank you, sir. Well, he says he should apologize on his behalf. Yeah, I will tell him. You will tell John. I will tell John. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, All right. Then. All right. So, hello. All right. You can also join us uh, with your questions right here. So, you 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 on it? Any short code? Any number? Yeah. So, can, yeah. so the short code is star four four seven star two four two four hash. You long too much. No, can't no. do this. That be what they give me. Star what? Star four four seven star two four two four. Hash. Okay, so you also uh, she wants to know any uh, Momo number. Uh, make you do the star four four seven star two four two four hash. Star four four seven. Okay. Two four two four hash. All right. Yeah. So star four four seven two four two four hash. hash. All right. Then. And then they, they, they can support your yeah, com your, your campaign. Thousand, two thousand, five thousand, mm. ten thousand. I go take ten CDs. I go take right because campaign is very expensive. Right. Right. <clears throat> I know you love our music as well. There are a lot of calls coming yeah. in, but the jam. But five great songs from Ghana. Your five favorite songs will be. Uh, one Nankabede Nayoya. Oh, Nankabede yeah. Nayoya by Nana Champo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why does Why that song your number one? I don't know. I think you just. I just love the lyrics. I love. I love what he says. I just. I just love it. I. I, mm. I love it. Yeah. Okay. And then Kujunchi Ponkwa Wabodam. Yeah. And then. Uh, Sakodi and Black Sheriff, countryside. Oh, countryside! You yeah. love that jam, I, I love it. Okay. And then Jackie's new song, um, I've forgotten the title. Uh, rent free. Rent free. I'll be the rent. I didn't talk about them, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then the last one, um, I don't know. The last one will be hard. Okay. I, I know. Sometime back, you also did a. Uh, collaboration with Sakodie. Oh, Iche. Iche. When, 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 when was that? This was, I think, 2012. Yeah. You want to make a perform? Why not? It's exclusive. Let's see. One, two, one, two. Huh? <laughs> So this is John Dumelo. <coughs> this this Sakodi featuring John Dumelo. Is yes. that what What's the title of this one? It's called Ask. I will bring it back. We'll be ask what? Ask Dumelo. Melo. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And also on that, we'll ask you, Dumelo, what happened to J Melo, your, your your clothing line? Um one thing about me is I'm a risk taker when it comes to businesses. I, I, I love to invest in businesses. I love to take the risk. And I think J Melo clothing line was one of the risks I took, which I don't regret. Uh, you know. But maybe I didn't pay particular attention to it properly. But I think it's something that one day I would I would uh, revisit. Relaunch? Yeah, yeah, I'll revisit it sometime. Because clothing is, is a commodity. Everybody wears, you know, clothing. Mm. And, and mm. it's something that I think I would, I would relaunch it in the future sometime. Any any favorite Ghanaian designer? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, DOP. I'm, I'm wearing DOP. DOP. Yeah, oh, DOP. very nice yeah, outfit. Yeah, yeah, I'm wearing DOP. And, I, you know, I, I try as much as possible to patronize uh uh you know made in ghana or mm. made in ghana designers you know that's the only way we can we can we can, uh, we can okay maybe pick a hat <laughs> <laughs> yeah we can we, we can actually get into yeah, that so yeah. dop is your favorite yeah, designer yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, mm. okay all right so we're, 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 we're climaxing we're getting there and are you a good cook yeah you are yeah okay because um we, we had a, a message coming in and, and says that i would like to challenge john and that's actually from juan he says uh just because he's john i want to challenge you to a cooking competition i'm on campus Ivandi, and i want him to come over hey yes make him come in room no he said come over i don't know what that is but, uh, the <laughs> i'll come john okay. i'll come yeah, yeah, yeah are you a good cook yeah Okay, so she says yeah, that maybe yeah, we'll fry eggs, but yeah, but rice, <laughs> rice cooker day. <laughs> what meal do you enjoy the most? Uh, sure. typical jollof. Jollof rice. Yeah. Mm, mm, or, mm. or 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 in trouble for it. Ah, no, and you can you can prepare yeah, that. In trouble for you, but you one yeah. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we're we'll getting into it. We we'll still have some calls. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Your name is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Foster again. Yeah, Foster, we lost you earlier on. All right, go ahead, please. Yeah, I just want to ask whether the uh, they, because we like we, we like we, we love their 
this thing, their policy about twenty four seven economy. You know. So I just want to ask whether when they come. Uh, first that says he, he loved <coughs> whatever your promises yeah, and all of that, yeah. and he, he wanted to know more about it. 24 right. hour economy yeah. uh, has campaign thus far. I mean, the national campaign you've been following President John Mahama yes, around, and yes. uh, what are you picking up? What are the people saying? I think, like, he hello, sorry, hello, good evening, hello, good evening, hello. All right, please go ahead. I think, like, you know, the caller in Takradi just said, you know, people are regretting. Or people have regretted vo voting against him in 2016 and 2020 and um 2024 you know yeah <clears throat> they've promised to vote for president john mahama because he knows he's the one to to move ghana in the right direction all right yeah we have we have we, we, we have we have you know our mystery questions here for you uh but we still have uh, i don't know our lines are jammed they, they, they just come in and uh, hello good evening people really have questions for you john I swear. hello good evening all right, we'll do our mystery question. So please, uh, go ahead. Pick one and just read it out for us, John Dumelo. What do we have in there, please? Yes. Oh, no, you have to read it out, John. <laughs> uh, oh, right. I mean, this one, I think. No, you have to. So you read it. So go ahead. <laughs> if you had to, uh -huh. which one would you give up on, on for the rest of your life? Politics or your business? Uh, my business oh so yeah. you love politics then yeah, you, you give, give up yeah your business yeah and follow politics yes because it push to the wall yeah, yeah it will be politics for you politics for me. why so because i feel politics would affect more people in terms of policies that we make look i'm a farmer and and as a businessman there's a limit to what i can do but as a politician it's endless so let me give you an example as a farmer I irrigate my land, you know, I harvest my crops and so on and so forth. I pay for everything. But as a politician, I can bring out a policy and say that out of the 1.9 million hectares of land that can be irrigated, let's irrigate 1 million because this is the government policy, this is the government direction, and let us give these farmers X amount of money to be able to produce more. And so politics, you know, is, uh, business is a subset of politics, if you ask me. And so I'll choose politics over business because I want to... Politics cost. over business. Yeah, because what, 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 do you, what do you make of the <laughs> government policy on, you know, or, 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 of course, the initiative, planting for food and jobs? No, uh, it's, it's something that it, it didn't work. It didn't work? No. In your opinion? No, it didn't work. Really? Yeah. What's, what's the... What's PFJ the, didn't... <clears throat> Well, the food inflation now 27 percent it went to 65 it's come to 27 percent during ADC time one of the lowest was five percent so if planting for food and jobs is there why are we not enjoying you know a relatively stable minister brian the chapel says that things have stabilized or stabilizing and what that you don't you don't no, see I don't that think so. really you don't feel it a gun a, a country like ghana why should we have only one planting season major planting season we should be able to have we should be able to plant all year round and so that is like that, that should be a government policy. It shouldn't be one uh, one uh, planting for food and jobs where you give fertilizer to party cronies and you share stuff to people who in turn go and sell it outside on donkeys. At least that's what they said in Burkina Faso and so forth and so on and so forth. We should be able to farm all year round so that prices of food food is stabilized. What are the main ones? Maize, rice, cassava, tomatoes. We are still importing tomatoes. So, so if we are still importing tomatoes, what did planting for food and jobs do for us? Nothing. We are still importing vegetables from Togo during the dry season. We are still importing uh, onions from Niger. Go to, uh, uh, um, what do you call it, the Volta region. You see truckloads of onions coming in. What has planting for food and jobs done? Nothing. Let's irrigate the land. Let's farm all year round, and everything will be stabilized. That's it. All right. So our last and uh, final question for the mystery question will be this. By so me, really, you say make a read. No, no. So you have, you have two, two questions, questions. So you have to read out. This but you say one. No, two mystery questions. Who is the greatest Ghanaian act, actor, actress of all time, and why? Yes. Grace Norte. Grace Norte. Oh, Madam Grace Norte. Because she's the one I did my first film with. Oh, wow. In 19... That was Baby That was Baby Thief. She, okay. she was my grandmother in that, yeah. So, so for, for you, it will be Grace yeah, Norte. Yeah, it will be Grace Norte. Because mm. I know I'm in trouble. <laughs> that why I mentioned Grace Norte. <laughs> when all is said and done, John Dumelo, how do you want to be remembered? 
I think I just want to remember that as the Ghanaian who loved Ghana, who believed in Ghana, and who hoped and wishes that Ghana moves forward in the right direction. And it is possible in Ghana. It is possible yeah. in Ghana. I'll come for your final message. But you know, great message from Top Choco. You know, there's nothing more pleasing than Top Choco chocolate. Spread on bread. It has the power to awaken your taste buds and make you happy instantly. So that's what we're saying. Go for it. The Top Choco 3 in 1 instant mixed chocolate drink. Suitable for preparing cold chocolate milkshakes, and there you have it. A cup of delicious hot chocolate has got to be Top Choco. So go for it. A cup of Top Choco is just for everyone, and surely a crowd pleaser. So go for it. Children can take it to school. Imagine serving these cups at birthday parties, picnics, or other gatherings. Top Choco any day. So it's chocolatey, and it's Top Choco. John Dumelo, and we want to know your biggest fear in life is God. Oh, God. I didn't fear God pass. Mm. Yeah. That's, That's my, my biggest fear. Biggest fear? Yeah. Because it's powerful. Mm. And it comes through for me most of the time. All the time. All, all the time. time. Yeah, God all comes through yeah. for John Dumelo. Because sometimes it's not in the change. Wow. Change. But, change. but God, God makes a way. God makes a way. Yeah. God makes a way when there seems to be no way. So I, the only person I feel, yeah. the only... Yeah. The only Your the favorite gospel person. song is? Um, oh, this song. You don't, don't know your favorite gospel, gospel song, John? I, oh, oh, many gospel yes. songs. Bola, Kuda. Yes. I said this. I this one. So, oh, oh, this oh, one. This oh, one. but if you are religious and God is... Uh, it my YouTube. I go feel, oh, what is your favorite gospel song, John Dumelo? Wait, the guy... I did come. The guy... John, you don't know your favorite gospel no, song? No, I, I don't know. And that's why it's your favorite. It's my favorite. I play it every morning. Yes, but so it is. I just press the thing and it plays. <laughs> your favorite gospel song is yeah. John Dumelo. Oh, I, the you know your favorite hip life song. You don't know your favorite gospel song. I go feel mention anyone. Okay, okay. not seeing song. <laughs> Which one? What's uh -huh. the title? Uh huh. Kofi Owusu Pepper. There, the magic, my, 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 Oh, um, 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 you can harm it if you want. Mm. Start from me. Oh, and it's your favorite song. Favorite song. Every time I listen, I they cry. So maybe the crying that'd be why I know they cry the song well. <laughs> <laughs> but the circular is nana a champo. Yeah. Na kebede. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which one is that? A line or two of that would be.